there was a and is a time and place for pandemic restrictions. In this case, circumstances have changed. Case counts are declining. Also, the science has changed. Should there be a federal mask mandate? Yeah, at this point, there absolutely should be that mandate because we know that if all of us wear masks, we reduce the chance of transmitting or acquiring COVID-19 by five times. There is a real danger when we politicize science. That public trust is broken when we we are politicizing science instead of following scientific process. My kids are not eligible to be vaccinated. It's not that I don't want them to be vaccinated, it's that they can't be. And I do really worry. I mean, I have an almost four-year-old and a one-year-old. I cannot wait until they're eligible to receive the vaccine. I think until then, mask wearing for kids, especially if we are living in high transmission areas, is still going to be important. And what we really need to do at this point is to make vaccination the easy choice. It needs to be hard for people to remain unvaccinated. I mean, we wouldn't imagine bringing together 20, 30 unvaccinated adults, putting them in a single room together the entire day and have them not wear masks. Why would we say that that's okay for our children? Travel and having the right to travel in our state, it's not a constitutional right as far as, I'm, as, far as I know to, um, to, to, uh, to board a plane. And so saying that if you want to stay unvaccinated, that's your choice. But if you want to travel, you better go get that vaccine. I agree that masks are a very powerful layer of protection, but it's one layer. And if we have so many other layers that are present, masking may be one that could go away. But we are nowhere near that yet. And I think what we really need to do is get the vaccines authorized for children as soon as that's possible. There is no evidence whatsoever for any other vaccine causing long-term consequences. We really should be a lot more worried about the virus and the short-term as well as long-term consequences on our children as opposed to the vaccine. Make sure that you're wearing a, um, a mask, even though it's outdoors. If there are lots of people packed around you wearing a three-ply surgical mask, don't wear a cloth mask. Cloth masks are little more than facial decorations. There actually is a harm that we should be discussing of children continuing to mask. We should also be intellectually honest and say that masking has had a cost, especially for the youngest learners. So the risk-benefit calculation has really changed. I'm the mom of two little kids under five. I can't wait until they are vaccinated, but I would wait until we find that the vaccines are safe and effective. And I'm not sure that we can say that at the moment because we just don't have the data. But I also think that other parents would want to wait until we know that three doses will produce the intended effect. I'm not saying, I don't think anyone really is saying that no one should ever wear masks, but rather that the responsibility should shift from a government mandate imposed from the state or the local district of the school. Rather, it should shift to an individual responsibility by the family.